I think you quite like Bri Bri. I like the innocence of what an, uh, uh, a clouded view of the world they've got. So when you come from a, a world where see, yeah, one of your parents has been locked in prison before, you've, you've seen like real reality of people getting the shit kicked out of them, like in, in on estates and that. Yeah, I grew up on a council estate. So I think you're talking about Bri Bri's background there. And then you see these up market middle class upper class vloggers who, who've just uh, they haven't grown up I'm, I'm not saying they don't know sadness because they, yeah. they might know stuff that I don't have any clue about no, but we the, do <laughs> but the persona on the videos of ah, everything's so great and everything's so fun all the time it, what do you think what if that it is that ignorance that they put across I, I just part of it pisses me off but part of it makes me laugh so I just poke, poke fun at it so, so you you see it as more naive so that's why on the Video, he gets catfished because he's so naive. Yeah. And he's oblivious to it at the end. Why do you think there is... So, like, Do you think it's a bad thing that these people are so... Um... Naive. I don't know. Are they naive? I mean... I, you know... I think they're definitely naive. Uh, uh, if you look at Alfie, for classic case. Right. Alfie is making so much money for putting out such average... Basic videos, but do you not? How he's, can he's you a not be? If, you, if you're getting rewarded for being absolutely mediocre, and you're getting rewarded as he he's ripping the rewards of what appealing the, to kids. He's ripping the rewards of what the best YouTuber in the world should be getting. The level of money he's on should be because he's so brand brandable. He's ripping the rewards of the best talented person out there but he isn't the best talented he is absolutely mediocre so in every other place if you look at football the best footballers unless they go to China the best footballers Messi, Ronaldo are getting the most money in the movies you you could argue the best actors get the most money well. debatable alright maybe Anthony Hopkins and people sure, like that Ryan Gosling. Don't, don't get what they should get but do you know what I'm saying in YouTube and on social media because it's still so young I feel like a lot of the people out there who are ripping the biggest rewards aren't the best. They're the people who got there first or nailed down a market quickest. And I'm sitting here late at the party thinking, this is laughable, this is hilarious. Then could you give him... I mean, it, that's what sort of surprises <coughs> me about how frustrated you get about it because I always think of you as a realist or sort of someone who likes to say things how they are. Mm. And the way I read that situation is, so he, he has exploited that market, not in a bad way, but he's found a USP... And he's done it, and he's done it well. I, I give him credit for that. Yeah. I, I'm not angry about that. Um, what, so again, what are you angry about? I, I'm not angry at all. You I'm making fun angry. of it. I make it, I find it amusing. Yeah. But what I am saying is, I hope in 10 years' time, when YouTube has developed into a place where it's survival of the fittest and not survival of the shittest, now, <laughs> that we're, we're going to get people rewarded for great content now, and not so, for... But survival of the fittest is a subjective thing because you can be fit and be quick or you can be fit and be strong. And some people would argue you can be, or you could also be fit and be clever, uh -huh, right? Uh -huh. Some people would argue he's surviving because he's the clever, he's he's the shrewdest. All right, so I think you're giving him way too much credit. I think he's he's making the kind of content he is capable of making and, and, and he's he's maxing out on the God-given gifts that he's being given. God-given? And, and, and we're, we're already... <laughs> what God-given gift you need to be a YouTuber? We're always going to have the kids-friendly shit, all right? And that's good, and I think we need that, fine. But what I'm saying is, ultimately, I want to see great YouTubers be rewarded and, and not just people who've got friends who are great YouTubers. Yeah, that yeah. is a little bit... I mean, you do get that feeling that there's an element of nepotism there. But then I also sort of worry because I don't know... I mean, I, I think before you become a parent, and I'm obviously not a parent, before you become a, become a parent, you think, I want my kid to have a realistic view of the world. Uh -huh. But you also want your kid to be happy. Now, if he makes people's kids happy... Yeah. But he's not giving them a realistic view of the world. Is it just basically kids TV, but on YouTube? I think a lot of it is that right now. Yeah, I was talking to uh, uh, Addy Lee driver yesterday. He's from Sierra Leone. Addison Lee. It's like a London taxi company. Uh, he's from Sierra Leone, and he's he's come over to this country. He's got his son, and he's telling us all about his son and that. And he, he goes, "Oh, my son, my son watches YouTube because he asks us what I did and that." And he's like, "Oh, he likes the F two." And I was like. 
you know, great lads. I like F1, mate, thanks. Yeah, you're good with the F2. Yeah. But uh, he asked us, like, what, what kind of stuff do you do? And uh, I, I, I sort of, I said, you know, there's nothing I won't talk about. And we have younger lads, asked, you know, messaging in about losing our virginity and shit like that. And he's like, I think that's fucking great. I, I would have no problem in my He hadn't son. seen the content at this point. No, but he's like, I'd have no problem in my son watching that. And, and But I thought, yeah, but some people would. So a lot of people would. Do you yeah, know I do find saying? that a bit unusual. Like you know, I I don't understand why people want to. Hu- I'm of the Paul Hannaford school of thought of Which is? Uh, of don't hide reality from your kids. Like that that is. But what's reality? Reality is what is going on out there. Like what's going on? People are having fucking sex. People are taking drugs. People are fucking. Uh, people are being violent. Shit's happening. Do you know what I'm saying? I've lived it. I've seen it. How would you? What age do you think you should tell a kid about those things? I think the best way to do that with children is to spoon feed them as they get older, more and more and more information. And when they ask, so you, obviously you you give them a very brief and small explanation of how the world can be right. and these different factors and the bad parts of life and the good parts of life and as they get older give them more give them more and their brains will adapt to it like but to tell them nothing and then when they turn 11 go well i tell you what people will be ha-. you know the stalk is bullshit do you know the birds and the bees it's bullshit they're people crying. are having sex and sex is where a man pops his knob up a woman now th- we need a better system Definitely in place of what of what that is th- th- it's silly up a woman do you know what I'm saying? But that's the way it was explained of, when you go into this room, they put a video on, this happened to me, and you come out the room going, well, fuck me. I never expected well, that. No, you don't think that. Do you know what I mean? At the time, you don't want to fuck anything. 